Hi, my name is Mark Sand, the Product Marketing Manager for High Performance Signal Generators here at Keysight. Welcome back to RF Explained. In today's episode, we will be exploring how some of our product engineers go through the design process, as well as delve into one of our newer signal generator models. Then we will be looking at some of the challenges that RF engineers face. Hi, I'm Kimberly Kasasha, Product Manager at Keysight Technologies, and I'm excited to tell you more about the new M9484C VXG Vector Signal Generator. The new VXG brings incredible density and scalability with up to four channels in a single instrument and the ability to easily synchronize multiple instruments for very high channel count systems. That means less time spent setting up complex multi-channel systems and more time spent making actual measurements. To address the ever-present need for higher frequency, a new vector signal generator frequency extender can pair with the VXG for frequency coverage up to 110 GHz. Similarly, signals continue to scale wider in bandwidth, and with the new VXG, two channels can easily be combined for up to 5 GHz of bandwidth in a single instrument. With a new architecture that leverages Keysight proprietary technology, the new VXG delivers outstanding signal fidelity, phase noise, EVM, and ACPR performance. Hello, my name is Riyad Said. I am the product planner for the VXG Vector Signal Generator. And as a product planner, I had the honor of actually going out and visiting all sorts of customers, uh, whether you're in 5G, your military, satellite customers, working on Wi-Fi. I was able to see where their challenges are, where their problems are, where their headaches are, over the air testing, those sorts of things. And my job as a planner is to synthesize all those challenges and problems and try to figure out how can we solve them. And one of the common themes that I'm seeing uh, as this 5G revolution takes off is they're really trying to take six gigahertz frequency coverage and translate it all the way to 50, 70 gigahertz without losing performance and coverage, especially in the 5G space or even for uh, satellite links. You gotta imagine they've been given the challenge, I want the same coverage and capacity times 10 up to millimeter wave frequencies. How do you do that? Uh, the performance challenge for them is huge. Uh, and now you gotta do everything over the air. We've been challenged to make that easier for them. And one of the ways we're doing that is applying a lot of new technology. Things like solid state electronic attenuation all the way to 110 gigahertz. This is gonna get repeatability up. It's gonna get level accuracy up. We have new uh, phase noise capabilities that basically makes EVM almost constant all the way to millimeter wave as if you're operating at six gigahertz. Unheard of capabilities. That's the joy that I have is working with this team uh, and having the creative freedom to try something new and different and uh, actually making it happen and seeing it come to life. Uh, that's been a great experience. Thank you all for watching. If you want to learn more, be sure to check out the VXG products at the following link as well as below the video. And tune in next time.